Hi yo, Cryo here. We really need to stop meeting like this in the nether. Uh, so I use the same website I used to find the slime chunk to find myself a nether fortress uh, because they're very, very uh, sparse. Like I could go out and exploring, explore a whole lot, but not much would come from that. Um, if I explore all the biomes found, biomes are close to the spawn, or they're rather my portal. But I'm sorry. Okay, I just started big anyways, but I've not explored the fortress at all. I just made a path from my portal to here using a uh, cobblestone and nether red. Oh hey, alright. Got a couple diamonds. Not too shabby. No, I don't want to put the not too shabby. Another fence there. So I'm not even sure if there's a blaze spawner in this particular fortress. So I marked down two of them just to be sure that I would find at least one lay spawner. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a golden sword just in case. There's a pig one over there. The chest. Ooh, wow, a lot of diamonds in this fortress though. Very unusual. There's another chest across here. I could just follow the maze or I could just you know, <laughs> break through the wall. Uh, iron ingots, iron horse armor. Bet. What is upstairs? Another chest. Gold diamond horse armor. I don't think I need uh, three things of iron horse armor. I should survive without that. I'll get rid of the cobble there. And, yeah, alright. Back down the stairs we do. Alright, here, let me, let me break that chest just to. Kind of show myself that I or check there, you know, so in case I come back that way, I'm not gonna be like, oh, here's a chest I haven't found. Let's deal with this guy here. Oh, what? Oh, hey, I'm. Excuse me, where, where did you come from? Up there, I'm guessing. Blink. Excellent. Yeah, so my main goal here for this episode is definitely finding um, a blaze spawner because I need blaze rods. Blaze rods is uh, they're impeding my, pro my my progress here. Once I find blaze rods, I can make potions. I can cure villagers. I can make get mending books. This is a straight up wall of lava. Yeah, so that's I'm just not gonna go that way. But then I can also you know get access to the ender because I need eyes of wind ender. Which require blaze powder. So I'll just keep exploring the fortress and I'll be back up with you once I find the blaze spawner. I've stumbled across a blaze here. I haven't found a blaze spawner, but I can only imagine that the spawner cannot be too far behind. Oh, oh ouch. Oh, hey, blaze rod, okay. It's got one blaze rod. Excellent. Got a blaze over there. I'll keep the blazer eyes in my inventory or my hotbar so I can check, um, check how many I get. Yeah. So they might be over there somewhere. If I were to guess. The question is, how do I get over to you? There must be a way up to the section, which is over here, it looks like. Yes, possibly. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now we're making some progress. Bluestone. If I were a blaze spawner. Oh, this is alright, this corridor, I guess. Just move, move out. Probably should just use my shield. I'm being not smart. Oh. Okay, so I can. I'm shot down here. Let me mark down the coordinates, because that is what I do. I mark down coordinates. Um, blue spawner at one is at six, two, two and seven forty. All right, got that marked down. So let's farm ourselves some blaze rods. 
Um, I'm thinking I might get. I need it like at least. I want to say 12 to be on the safe side for the I surrender so I can find the portal and have enough to fill the end portal frame. Then I also need quite a few for. Actually, not a whole lot, but I need I need some for uh, brewing potions and such. So it's just a matter of time, and just kind of waiting for the blazes to come out of their spawner. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do this for a little bit. And I'll report back to you and be in my merry way after I get, I don't know, like half a stack or something. I have returned from the nether once again. So, I have, uh, so I have two drink stands right now. I went ahead and brewed up a whole bunch of splash potions of weakness. All uh, just enough to uh, turn all those guys, or cure all those guys from being zombie villagers. And Mandel, I'm probably going to cure first, just because Mandel's been waiting for so long for me to cure him. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'll let me just do that. Close these, just in case he somehow escapes. I don't know how he would. Hey Mandel, how you doing? So we're going to throw... Here, Steel, get out of the way. I don't want to hurt you with my splash potion of weakness there. There we go, feed you a golden apple, and now we wait. So while we're waiting for that, we can go and turn the rest of these guys, or, or the trading hall villagers, into, uh, well, into zombie villagers, so I can cure them. Let's see here, what else am I going to do? Here, probably. So I am, and I'm also going to set the mode uh, to hard mode, because that way there's a 100% chance that the villager, uh, villagers will turn into zombie villagers once they're killed by a zombie. Two, let me see here. Grab some glass as well. Three. Yeah, it's gonna take a while for Mandel to be cured. But he'll get there eventually. Do glass. This chest. Alright, so I'm basically just gonna make a little pathway uh, up behind the villagers here. You just need that one. Go over here, do the same thing. Then, go ahead and put a trapdoor on this one right here. So, I'll have the zombie chase me through here. I'll get stuck on that trapdoor, and I'll close these and lock them in. And again, now, this isn't my idea. I didn't, I'm not that original. Um, I put a link in the, the description of the last video um, for the villager train hall where. Uh, he does a very good job of explaining everything in detail, and it's a great video to check him out. Um, yeah, so I will wait for nighttime and lure myself a zombie to kill all these villagers. Uh, it's for a good cause, trust me, guys. Yeah, don't worry. So I'll see you guys then. It's a miracle, Mendel has been cured. Uh, so I'm just kind of trying to set up a contraption here that allows. Uh, Mendel to be uh, worked with and so he doesn't escape too. Um, so this could work. So Luck of the Seas is the first book. I do not want that. So I can go ahead and destroy this. He won't be able to escape. I can grab this. I can also crouch underneath here so I can go on and visit him. Hey, Mendel. Ah, uh, you can't crouch. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. That's me. Set back down. You should get your inventory. Thorns one. Do you think you? And it's basically just rinsing up you until I get the mending book. So that'll take a while, but and then I'll also get the other villagers turned into zombie villagers. So I can get some nice discounts on all their prices. All right, we've got ourselves a nice oh well, a few zombies. I just want the one. Oh, but. Hmm, okay, let me 
At least strategically take out the rest of these zombies first. Ever. Okay, well that one's stuck, that's fine. Just follow me, I just want you. So this Sunday, or this Sunday, this zombie is wearing a Sunday vest, which is. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let me bring you in here. Apparently, there's already a zombie in here. How? Excuse me, sir. How did how did you manage to crawl in here? Probably spawned up there because I had to place their blocks. Anyways, so I will get him into my contraption here. Come on in. Then. Once he's in here, that's there. there. We go. Lock him in there. That. We'll go ahead and get this blocked up. Other side, real quick. This blocked off as well. Now we let the massacres begin. So in theory they the villagers should not burn. I'll go ahead and lower all these zombies here. Or not the, they're not zombies yet. They will be zombies. I'll go around the back and watch the murders begin. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, not burning. Good. I, I definitely need to make sure that these. Excuse me. Can you keep it down, all like seven of you? <laughs> um. Yeah, I definitely need to make sure these guys don't despawn before I can cure them, because I don't have ten name cakes to give them. Ooh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to lower the trap doors for El Zombie here. There you are. Okay. Now I can go continue watching. Him go. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to stay here for. Well, I mean, I am, but you guys don't have to. So I'll cut back once I have cured or started the curing process for all these guys. Alright, we've got our roll of villagers all getting ready to be cured. I'm trying to see which one of these I like best as a zombie villager. Probably this one, the guy with the farmer hat and. <laughs> And the enchanted leather cap, it looks pretty funny. Uh, plus, I can have to be this guy in full gold armor. Just because he's like the only one with like a. He has an enchanted iron sword, too. Hey, uh, you mind giving me that once you're, once you're done being cured? No, maybe not. Okay. That's fine. That is a lot of zombies here. Let me, let me go take care of these, I guess. I'm going to change it back to normal mode once, I, once, go, once those guys are all cured. I would normally just do that like right away. Get on. Well, thankfully, um, these guys cannot figure out how to open up a fence gate. Like, they can figure out how to open up a, open up, like, a normal doorway, but not... Is that, is that baby zombie holding an egg? Where did you get an egg from? That's so weird. I just waste all the durability on my axe here. Excellent, I got a baby zombie egg. Just what I was looking for. Yeah, so now it's just the waiting pro uh, process. Once these guys are all cured, I will go ahead and remove those dirt blocks because they don't look great. <laughs> Gotta say. Um, yeah, then I'll continue trying to get the menu book and see what kind of traits these guys have. And I'll potentially. Oh, hey, there we go, the first one's cured. Yeah, I'm not really looking for like any super specific trades. I want to see if there's a way for me to change out their workstations without them running away on me. Yeah, as you can see, these are have some better deals here. Yeah, some are better than others. Yeah, so... Uh, I will see you guys once I have 
uh, all the trade stuff figured out. So I got a lot of a lot of trading accomplished here, as you can see by the amount of emeralds I have. I have um, all these guys are traded with, so they have. I well, I, I believe they're the best deals I probably could have gotten. Um, yes, these guys pretty much similar stuff. Uh, he has tools, he has armor, but they both offer emeralds for gold, which I have plenty of. Uh, this librarian has silk touch, so you stole for pickaxes, axes, uh, shovels, stuff like that. And then this guy right here happens to have a um, mending book. So obviously I did want Mendel to have the mending. It doesn't really matter, honestly. So I want Mendel to have the mending, this guy to have um, efficiency 5 originally, or efficiency 4 or something. So before I got this mending book, I actually got add two others um, while I was flipping through the books or inventory that he had. So I, I skipped over those because I was determined to have Mandel have that. But then I went to go and uh, change Mandel's inventory and he got efficiency 5. So I'm like, you know, like the name doesn't really matter all that much. So Mandel has efficiency 5. And this person, this guy here, has mending now, oh, which is fine. And it, what a deal too! One, one emerald in a book for mending that's like incredible. Um, this guy has I'm breaking three for eight emeralds, which is a bit pricier, but you know that's fine. Uh, then we got two clerics, both have the same inventory. Doesn't matter how often you switch to their inventory, they're gonna have the same starting thing. Uh, so I'm going to kind of see what they have in stock after purchase some more stuff from them. Look, his lap is. It's the same thing. That's fine. Uh, trade, we've been training farmer for quite a bit. Uh, Fletcher. Well, basically just had him to trade sticks for emeralds. Which I can actually do more of now, alongside uh, the culture. Yeah, I have quite a bit of uh, stuff here. Don't mind that. Uh, okay, trade that. All right, let's go. So, trade a few. Trade some gold for some emeralds. It also gives quite a bit of experience as well. Okay, so now he's offering. Oh, so I can trade him a lava bucket for emeralds, apparently. Uh, apparently. But I do have a lot of those, but I want to save them for rebuilding. Don't want to. Don't want to just go trading it for emeralds when I could trade so many other things for emeralds. Right, what do you got? Did I not? No, I didn't get enough. Okay, so I know I'm not going to trade for stone shovels, so I'll come back either tomorrow or come back with some iron ingots or something. And then you get you on know, paper. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll trade at the farmer. Get some beach roots. Okay, and trade. Sticks and it, this used to be 26 sticks initially. But the villagers are gossiping about me trading the other villagers. Because I'm getting better deals, which is a win win for everybody. They get my business, I get awesome deals. And I'll trade some coal with you. Yeah. Okay. Now I have two stacks of emeralds to do all whatever we want with. Let's trade some more. Do that away. Okay. Oh wait, I still have coal. And that isn't all my coal in case you're wondering, I do have um, some more coal in there. But yeah, let's go take a look at Mendel here. Yeah, Mendel unfortunately is not getting his mending book. Wait, what? 
Okay, where'd he go? Okay, well, that had efficiency 5. I don't know why that changed. So we got ourselves a efficiency 4 book on to Mandel. Just good, I want to can trade with him just to secure the trade. It's a little bit of an expensive trade, but I'm not going to be using it too often, so it doesn't really matter all that much. I cannot get this EXP point, which is awkward. There we go. And this trade shouldn't be changed yet. Okay. Alright. So I have that trade complete. I went ahead and um, put it onto another axe that I enchanted. So it has efficiency 5 now. And I'm breaking free. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and trade for a whole bunch of mending books. As many as I can get, I guess. I'll break free. There we go. We got 12 books of the mending. Excellent. Let me go put this onto well, a couple pieces of gear, at least. Oh, I don't have any other right gear, was. Fortune 3 and Breaking 3. I could probably actually get. Um, efficiency 5 book onto there. And yeah, let's see. Mm. Go. So we got efficiency 4 books which we can combine to create efficiency 5. Did I just say that? I don't know. Let's go ahead and my knees. Get a C5. Add that to our netherite pickaxe. And then add a book of mending to it. There we go. I think this is actually a maxed out pickaxe, I think. I'm not sure. Well, it has mending on it and unbreaking, which is. All that really matters to this. So, I can this. I don't pretty much need to make any other pickaxes besides this one. Well, I need to make it like a silk touch, uh, another right pickaxe as well. I, well, I have that. So I guess I can add mending to this as well. And another book of four. Not sure how much that's. And I'm gonna add the mending to it first, and then I'll add the uh, other chant. Boom. Add the mending. Plus two. And then add efficiency four. There we go. So that should be. Yeah, that's two max up pickaxes in one episode. Not too shabby. And we still have a whole bunch of leftover mending books, which I'll put into their own chest here. Let's make this the mending and book chest for now. And we don't really need our book touch pick at the moment. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other pickaxes that I had though. Like the, um... I mean, I could use them, but there's not really much point to using them at the moment. Because I can literally just repair the tools as I'm mining. Um, but still, you're getting a little, bit, a little bit closer, buddy. Yeah, I know you're interested, just uh, keep your distance. So, yeah, I think that's a pretty good spot to stop this episode. Uh, the next episode, I'm well, I'm going to do a little bit of, and by a little bit I mean a lot of, material gathering for some automatic farms. I took down all the crops about, all back here. So this is kind of where I'm going to put some of the farms. I'm just going to make every single automatic farm that I can at the moment. And 
Yeah, so I'm going to need a whole lot of the, whole lot of materials for that. And then, yes, yeah, so next steps will probably just be a montage of me building all the all the farms. So until next time, remember to stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next video.